Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another instalment of my journey to go green. In today's episode, I'm going to be looking at using sustainable cleaning cloths when cleaning my bathroom to replace the old cloths that I have that weren't environmentally friendly. These are the sort of cloths I'm talking about. So I've got some regular cloth and sponge, both of which aren't recyclable or made from sustainable materials. So those are the ones that I want to replace. And these are the products I'm going to be using in their place. I've already covered the MyStick plastic free all purpose cloth before. Now, these packs of five are available from the plastic free shop. That's the plasticfreeshop.co.uk and they cost currently, I think it was £3.25 for a pack of five. I've also purchased these rainbow compostable sponge cloths from them. Now there's a six pack here and they cost me £6.99. Now again, I haven't been provided these by the, um, by the shop. I've bought them myself to test and see, see what they're like. These rainbow sponges from Eco Living, they are 70% plant cellulose and 30% cotton. They are machine washable or they can be done on the top rack of the dishwasher, apparently. Um, and they plant a tree for every pack sold. And that's by ecoliving.co.uk. And they come in a range of nice colours. So I'm going to try one of those sponges for cleaning in the bathroom. And I'm also going to be using one of these MyStick cloths to replace the other one. Now, these cloths are 100% viscose bio-based from tree fibre and I have found them to be exceptionally good when I've been using them in the kitchen. I've also been using um, a separate one on the floor in the kitchen. You, you can get specific ones that are intended for the floor. I guess they must be a bit stronger perhaps, but I found them these ones perfectly adequate. Um, so I, I thoroughly recommend them. They're 0% microplastic and they are exceptional cloths. And I haven't used these before, so I'm going to try all those in the bathroom and see how they go. This is the cleaner that I currently use. So it's Sif Power and Shine Bathroom. Now, it's something that I should be looking to change over time, where I will probably make my own. But I'll come to that later. Now it's saying on the back of this that the bottle is widely recycled and the trigger is widely recycled. Now, what that means is that if you have somewhere locally that can recycle these, that's great. But it doesn't guarantee that you do have somewhere local that is going to be recycling those. So, in truth, they're not really worth that much weight. You really do need to check out locally whether these kind of things are recycled before you use them. But the concern for me is that it's got a wrap around on here. So it's a it's a film that they've gone and put over the top and that's not recyclable. So all of this plastic that they've gone and coated the bottle in isn't recyclable, which is which is poor. One thing they have done is that they're claiming that it's a bottle for life because you can buy these refill packs. Once this is used, you fill up to the line with water, you pop this refill on the top and that will drain in and then you'll have a new bottle of Power and Shine bathroom to use. So what that tells me is ordinarily, within these bottles that we buy, that much is normally water. So all of this transport and weight that's being transported is predominantly water, which is not great. Oh well, um, I guess that would be where the, um, the benefit of making your own comes in, so I'll do that at a later stage. But this is what I'm using at the moment to clean the bathroom, and it's pretty effective at getting rid of the, um, uh, the soap scum. So let's see how this sponge cloth goes. Okay, I've, I've done a 
small amount so far, not, not a huge amount, but I've done a small amount. And initial impressions, it was easy to hold, it's remained intact, it feels quite strong. It hasn't so far left any pieces behind, and that was the problem with the old sponge I had, because it was old, it was leaving little bits behind, which then meant that I had to clean what I've been cleaning. But I mean, that may well be the same with this over time, so I will, I will test this over a period of time and see how it's doing. But initial reaction just from doing this little bit is, um, is favourable, so let's carry on. I cleaned the hose for the shower and that's quite ripped and so it provided quite a test for this because of the friction from rubbing against it and I can't see any signs of wear on here. So it stood up to that well. That's good, that's really pleasing. And so far, it seems okay. I haven't seen any signs of the colour running and coming out. It's remaining fairly tight, so that's good. There is a bit of colour run from this actually. There's some purple coming off. It's not, um, it's not going to stain the bath at all, that's just uh, a very small amount of dye coming out of there, but there is some colour off, colour run from it. Okay, so that's all the bits finished using the sponge and it's fed, fed reasonably well. It's no signs of degradation, it's still holding firm and I was using it in some um, strong places needing to get a bit of um, friction and uh, movement there. I've been using it sort of cleaning around in, in the plug areas, there's quite a bit of friction and it, it's held firm, it's really good. The only thing of note was that it was, um, uh, there was a little bit of colour run from it. That's not um, a huge problem because it hasn't gone and stained anything. I think it is just the natural colour coming out and that it's getting a little bit faded and it, it's going to cease running um, soon. So I didn't see it as a, a problem, it's just something to know that there is a little bit of run from it, but otherwise it seems really good. I need to carry on doing a bit of cleaning using the MyStick cloth just to do um, around the, uh, the toilet and clean the disinfect around there, so let's go on with that. For this I'm using BioD all-purpose sanitizer. It carries the cruelty-free logo, vegan logo and ethicalconsumer.org best buy and it's made in the UK. So that's what I'm using along with the um, MyStick cloth. It's really not a surprise to me, but the cloth is very strong, standing firm. It's perfect for this. Really not a problem at all. I'm very happy. Okay, and I've now cleaned the toilet as well. It's held firm really well. Nice and strong, good fibres, and really pleased with it. As I expected, it's done a really good job. So I can thoroughly recommend using the, uh, the MyStick cloth for cleaning the bathroom as well. When it comes to cleaning my mirror and the glass here, what I'm gonna be using is my own homemade glass cleaner. I've reused an old window and glass cleaner bottle that I had from the past. And it's just basically a mix of vinegar and water. I'll, um, I'll cover that in another video, but that's what I'm going to use for cleaning it. Just a mixture of vinegar and water with a cloth and uh, just rub that in. And it, it's just as effective as, as the um, shop ball window cleaner. There we go. Nice and 
shiny and that is just say from a mixture of uh, vinegar and water. Folks, I've cleaned the bathroom using these rainbow compostable sponge cloths from Eco Living, and also I've used the uh, the Mystical Purpose cloth um, for, for cleaning as well. And I found them to both be extremely good. Can thoroughly recommend them. I'll include a link down below for where you can get both of these, and uh, be interested to hear in the comments whether you've used them, how you found them, whether you use something else, also whether you've got any um, suggestions for how to make my own um, cleaning products for using in the bathroom. That'd be great to, uh, to hear as well. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please click the like button because that way YouTube knows that you've enjoyed the video and it will share it with more people. And also, don't forget, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you find out about more videos like these by clicking the bell icon. That way you'll get notified as soon as I load up a new video and you won't miss out. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.